it's January 31st and almost time to go home. I did not have a chance to record the video today. So I thought, why not go over the Northwich Fix Fume Extractor, NF Fume, that we now carry and sell on our website. Just log in to northwichfix.com, click on shop, and you can search for NF Fume or just search for Fume. What is a fume extractor? Anytime you are soldering, you will introduce smoke in the air, smoke from your soldering wire, from flux, or whatever the case may be, and you do not want to breathe that smoke. You have two options to get rid of the smoke. Option number one is to be next to a window with a fan blowing to the window, so that when smoke comes up in the air, the fan is going to push that smoke outside the window. That's option number one. And option number two is to have a fume extractor, like the one that we're going to go over today. A fume extractor will absorb the smoke, the smoke will go into a filtration system, and then clean air will come out of the fume extractor. So a fume extractor is used to filter the air, and it's a must-have if you do any type of soldering. You do not want to breathe those fumes. Now, this fume extractor went through a lot of testing, a lot of back and forth with the factory, and I think that we have the perfect fume extractor for the price right here. Ten years ago, I bought the Pace Evac 250, which I have down here, and the Pace Evac 250 is about 10 times the price of this fume extractor here. Why is it 10 times more expensive than this? Is it because it's a better fume extractor? Absolutely not. Both of them will filter exactly the same way, and both of them have a three filtration system. You have the top filter, which filters out big particles. You have the middle filter, which filters out microscopic particles. And then you have the carbon filter that filters out smell and odors. You go to Amazon and you search for a fume extractor, you will see a lot of carbon-based fume extractors. For those who do not know, a carbon fume extractor does not filter out anything except for odors and smell and it does not do it 100%. It filters out most of the odors in the air, but it does not filter out any microscopic particles, and it does not filter out big particles. You will still have the same toxic fumes in the air, and nothing gets filtered out. For those who do not know, they rush and pay 70, 80, 90 dollars for a carbon-based fume extractor that does absolutely nothing. We have a three filtration system here. I am going to show you a carbon-based fume extractor that was mailed over to us by a company that wanted us to carry and sell this and of course I did not. That's what a carbon fume extractor looks like. You have the fan that takes air in, it sucks air in and back out from here and what do you have in the middle? You have a carbon filter. So air is going through that carbon filter and back out from here. The same toxic particles that goes in will come out. The only thing that will be absorbed is the smell and odors and if you look at the carbon filter you can see inside it microscopic particles big particles will pass through this filter and nothing will get filtered do not waste your time do not waste your money buying carbon based filters or fume extractors so what makes a more expensive fume extractor different than the one that we carry here. If both of them do the same job and both of them have a three filtration system and both of them will purify the air 99%, then what makes the other one more expensive than this one here? It all boils down to the size of the filter. If I want to replace the HEPA filter on this one here, the middle filter, I can expect to pay maybe $30, $40 for that filter. But if I want to replace the filter on my Pace Evac 250, the price of the filter is about $340 because it lasts longer and it's intended for industrial use where you are using the fume extractor 24 hours a day. Most of us do not use fume extractors 24 hours a day. If you use this fume extractor every single day, the filter will probably last you between six months to one year. And then when the filter needs replacing, you will pay $30, $40 for a filter. I'm talking about the middle filter the HEPA filter, and you are back in business. So there is no reason to go and spend a lot more money on more expensive fume extractors because both of them, they have a three filtration system and both of them will do exactly the same job. Now, without talking too much, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. If you look here, the box is very well packaged and you have that thick piece of foam on the top. Look at the thickness, put it on the side. And if you look inside the box, you see the fume extractor, the hose, and the tip right here 
Let's start with the fume extractor. We're going to take it out. And I can tell you it's heavy. And the housing is made out of metal. This is not plastic. It's built to last. And if you look at the rubber legs on the bottom, these are high quality rubber legs with a screw that goes inside. So those legs are not going to go anywhere. And then you have the vent down on the bottom. Clean air will come out from the bottom. You do not need to install the filters. They are already inside. And if you want to get to the filters, just pop this one open and then pop it out from here. That's the cover. And you can see the padding on that cover from the inside. You have filter number one, and this filter filters out big particles, this one here. And then you have the second filter that filters out microscopic particles. We have a little tab here that we can pull that filter from. That's the second one right here. And then you have the carbon filter and also a tab on the carbon filter that you can pull out from here. And the fan is inside. And you also have paddings inside on the edges. I'm not sure if you can see it. The way this device is built, it's amazing. Filter one, filter two, and filter three. Three filters. Now, every once in a while, you may want to check on this filter here. It gets dirty the most. It's very easy to replace. We take it out. We put a new one in, close it, and you're all set. We sell those filters, and you can also find it on our site. So let's go ahead and close the extractor. One side and the other side. Awesome. And then, of course, you have the power cable. goes from the back and the on and off switch. Just an amazing tool. I mean, if you hold this with your hand, quality. Quality built. Maybe we can keep this box, and I'll place the fume extractor on top so you can see. What else is inside the box? Maybe I'll put it right over here. Okay. So what else is there? We have the hose. We have the AC cable, which is inside the hose. And then you have the tip of the hose. Let's remove the cable. Now the tip will screw onto the hose in a counterclockwise motion. You just need to align it. It doesn't have to be super tight. You just align it and then screw it counterclockwise. Okay. And same way we do it on the bottom. We're going to screw in a counterclockwise motion. Okay, just like that. Now look at how far the hose extends. Look at this. A lot of people, when they test fume extractors, they are testing how far they can be from the fume extractor and if smoke will get sucked in by the fume extractor. That's not how you test fume extractors. When you are soldering, you need to be close to the hose. I have the Pace Evac 250, which has a very strong suction. And when I'm soldering, the hose is almost always next to my hand. I do not need to be far and then test the suction of the extractor. This is not a vacuum. This is not a carpet vacuum. It's a fume extractor. So almost always when you are soldering, you want the hose to be on top and your hand is under, or you want this to be flat down on the bench like I currently have my pace evac hose like this so i'm soldering in front of the hose and smoke will go straight inside it will get filtered inside the box and clean air will come out from the bottom let me plug the fume extractor so we can test it and turn it on and when we turn it on right now the fan speed is 53 we can go higher 100 Okay, so we can go from low to high. The higher you go, the louder it will get. Let me turn my soldering iron on, and I hope that you will be able to see the smoke going inside the hose. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. Right now, all we care about is this area here. Maybe I can go like this. All right, let's see.
Amazing. Now, if I have the hose on top like this, I can solder all the way from the bottom here. It's all going inside the hose. That's what I call the perfect fume extractor. The perfect fume extractor for the price. And there's no reason why you would want to pay anything more than what you would pay to get this fume extractor. All the smoke went inside the hose. They got filtered through the three filtration system and then back out clean. I smell nothing. Nothing at all. It's portable, it's rugged, made out of metal, high quality legs on the bottom, three filtration system, more than enough suction, and you can shape the hose any way you like. You want it to go all the way on the top and then curve on the very tip. You want it to go all the way down and then curve it like this. You can shape it anywhere you like and you will absolutely love everything about this fume extractor and you will love the price even more. You can find the fume extractor on our site. Just log into northwitchfix.com, click on shop and search for fume or search for nf.fume and you will be able to buy it from there. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.